In this week's episode, I go over State Question 814. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. No matter which political party or candidate you support or don't, you should vote this November 3rd. There are two state questions on the ballot. The state questions are your opportunity to vote directly on the laws and statutes of Oklahoma, so (laughs) it's kind of important. As I'd like to do every election cycle, I'll go over the state questions with you. In last week's episode, I went over state question 805, so please go back and listen to it if you didn't. In this episode, I'm going to go over state question 814, the Decreased Tobacco Settlement Endowment Trust Fund Deposit and Fund Medicaid Program Amendment. (laughs) Another mouthful. (laughs) First, I'll read to you the state question as it appears on the ballot. I do this to help you and me comprehend the question a bit better. When you see it on the ballot, it will just be a long block of words sometimes with exceedingly long sentences, and occasionally it's written in legal speak. So sometimes it helps to hear it. When I'm done, I will give you my opinion on what I think this question means. But please remember to do your own research. In the show notes, I'll have links to information about this state question to help make up your own mind. So let's get this over with. These questions are not fun to read. State question 814. Legislative Referendum 375. This measure seeks to amend Article 10, Section 40 of the Oklahoma Constitution, which directs proceeds from the state's settlement with or judgment against tobacco companies. Currently, Section 40 directs 75% of proceeds to the Tobacco Settlement Endowment Trust Fund, TSET Fund, where earnings may only be used for tobacco prevention programs cancer research, and other such programs to maintain or improve the health of Oklahomans. Meanwhile, the remaining 25% of proceeds are directed to a separate fund for the legislature, the legislative fund. The legislature can also direct some of that 25% to the Attorney General. This measure amends Section 40 to reduce the percentage of the proceeds that go to the TSET fund from 75% to 25%. As a result, the remaining 75% will go to the legislative fund, and the legislature may continue to direct a portion to the Attorney General. This measure would also restrict the use of the legislative fund. Section 40 currently states only that the legislative fund is subject to legislative appropriation. If this measure passes, money from the legislative fund must be used to get federal matching funds for the Oklahoma's Medicaid program. Shall this proposal be approved? For the proposal, yes. Against the proposal, no. Oh boy, that was another tough one to read. (laughs) Did that in a couple of takes. So let's see, it's my understanding here that the legislature wants to pull more money from the T-SET fund to pay for the Medicaid expansion program and send even more money to the Attorney General's office. So basically, in my opinion, they want to raid money from one fund and put it in another instead of raising money for the new fund. TSET was established by the voters as a trust devoted to preventing cancer and cardiovascular disease here in Oklahoma. It awards grants to schools, communities, state agencies to improve the health of Oklahoma citizens. It also funds research. That means this fund's money is already in use. Again, in my opinion, I think this state question is just a bad idea. But what do you think? Are you for or against state question 814? Let us know. I'll have a discussion thread up in the Blog Oklahoma subreddit. So please join the conversation. Let's talk about it. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. If you haven't yet, please go register to vote. Here in Oklahoma, you only have until this Friday, October 9th, to register to vote 
for the November 3rd general election. If you are a registered voter and you want to vote absentee, you only have until Tuesday, October 27th to request an absentee ballot. It is really encouraged that you don't put this off and you request your absentee ballot now. As soon as you get your ballot, fill it out, sign it, go get it notarized or attach a copy of your driver's license to it, and then drop it in the mail. The sooner the better. For more details on how to register to vote or request an absentee ballot, please visit ok.gov elections. Hey everyone, Kevin here. How have you been? Did you have a good week? Mine was okay. <laughs> I think I fixed the electrical issues I was having last week. I picked up a brand new uh, battery backup for here at the office, so hopefully I will not have a repeat of what happened last week. Whew, that was stressful. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to get a little bit more political than I normally do here on the podcast. Yes, I talk about politics, but it's mostly to get you to go vote, because that's important. You need to go vote. I mostly and definitely express my political opinion on my personal social media, but I try not to do that here on the podcast. Well, that's changing from now on. I'm not going to pretend to be neutral. No, I'm not converting this into a political podcast. This is just something I need to talk about. If you don't want to hear it, please go ahead, hit stop now. I'm not insulted. And hopefully I will see you here next week with an all new episode. First off, I'd like to send my thoughts to President Trump and his family, and I hope they have a quick recovery. I wouldn't wish COVID or any illness on anyone, even if it's somebody I don't agree with or respect. My wish is for him to be voted out of office this November. That's it. That said, Mr. President, Karma, it is what it is. Well, something aggravating happened this week. Someone came into my yard and stole my Oklahomans for Biden sign. That's just low. This is something that's been happening across this state. You can't support your preferred political candidate for office without some redheaded asset trespassing on, or worse, vandalizing your property. Beside what's happened to me, I've seen and read about neighbors from around the state that this has been happening to. It's sad. Oklahoma, I'd like to think you're better than that. When something happens here in the state, like a uh, tornado, we all put our differences aside and help our neighbors. You remember the phrase, Oklahoma strong? Except when it comes to politics. Not all of your neighbors support your preferred candidate. If you're out there being a bully about it, you're the problem, not your neighbor. So please, respect people's property and opinion. Anyway, the joke's on the person that stole my sign. They just made another donation to the Oklahoma Democratic Party, and I've already ordered a new sign. Ha! I think I've been talking too long. My voice is going, so let's get this podcast finished. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you could purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on it. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash Blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There are many hours of music for you to enjoy. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. This is the Blog Oklahoma podcast for October 4th, 2020, episode 170, state question 814. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Sorry about thumping the microphone just then. Until next time. <laughs>